Good evening. Two women have been held hostage by a gunman inside a coffee shop for nearly eight hours at Rye on the Mornington Peninsula. Heavily armed police cleared surrounding streets and negotiated with the 69-year-old man who fired a shot into the cafe's roof. A bitter marriage breakdown sparked the ordeal. A quick glimpse of a hostage being held at gunpoint. She was one of two women being kept as prisoners in a Rye cafe. Heavily armed police swarmed the area following reports around 7.30 that a man had walked into the shop with a weapon. Screams and an argument were heard before the gunman drew the blinds. There was a shot fired into the roof of the premises. As the surrounding streets were locked down, staff and shoppers were evacuated from neighbouring businesses. I've just gone to the supermarket very early this morning to do some shopping. Told to leave the supermarket in my trolley and get out of there. Word spread quickly that the hostages were the cafe owner and her employee and the gunman was the owner's ex-husband. They'd split up weeks earlier and police had been called to resolve disputes before but never anything like this. We heard yelling um, when the two policemen arrived. A lot of people, a lot of oldies were very, very scared in there. For right, like it's just so crazy to think that it's happened. Police began delicate negotiations, hoping to bring the siege to a peaceful end. But a sniper readied his weapon just in case the situation turned violent. Fortunately, firepower wasn't required. Police packing up signalled that after seven and a half hours, the crisis was over, as the women were let go and the man surrendered. In these type of incidents, time's always your friend, and the end result, I think, has shown the value of... Um, of negotiations. The two women were taken to hospital for observation but neither had been hurt. Evidence was collected from the scene while the gunman was taken away for questioning. And Kate Jones joins us from Rosebud Police Station. Kate, has the man been charged? Not yet, Jen. The 69-year-old man is still being interviewed by detectives here. That may well be a lengthy process, but once completed, he will face serious charges, including, one would think, false imprisonment and firearms offences. There is the chance he could appear in court in Melbourne tomorrow. Otherwise, he'll appear locally on Monday and will be remanded in custody. Jen? Thank you very much, Kate.